This is a little jackalope sound test. If you guys can hear me, please give me a purple heart. Thank you. We'll be starting in about 14 minutes.
Hey, um, guys, those of you who are in chat, I need help brainstorming. For the drinking game today, what should be our keyword to take a drink? I want your guys' opinions. Monster. Oh, Lucas would be hilarious. I like, I like, I like the idea of monster. I think that, I think that should be it. You guys are all, you guys are going, uh, uh, unanimous. Great. Thank you guys. <laughs> Carl? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Black Rose, hey, we got the Easter eggs list. Sorry, my mouth is full. I'm snacking on something. <laughs> but thank you.
shower. It's a smell unique. Hey guys! Hi. If you guys can still hear us, looks like you can. I am getting good feedback. Um, if you guys have any issues with tech today, please let me know in the chat as soon as possible. Yes. Um, if something comes up, uh, try refreshing our browser um, and then just let us know what's going on. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I am little. 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 little, 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 little. <laughs> I am little. Like. Yeah. <laughs> I'm little Jackalope of the Amateur Sleuth Blog, and I'm here with Tess, and we are going to be playing, obviously. Nancy Drew, The Captive Curse. Yeah. I'm surprised we haven't played this game already. Because it feels like a game that we've already played, but we haven't. I kind of am, but I think there are a lot of other really good ones that it made sense to do first. Yes. So. Well, we had a lot of scary games to get through for, yeah. like, the different seasons and the holidays and stuff, so. So, now is the perfect time to do this, I think. Yes, because fall is not quite a Halloween game. But kind of. I mean, it's close enough. Yeah. But it's like dark, and I we don't speak uh, spracken. We don't spracken. <laughs> no, no spracken. Z Deutsch. Is Deutsch. Is it Deutsch or Deutsch or Deutsch? Deutsch. I don't know. We're gonna be butchering the language, and I apologize <laughs> to anyone fluent in it. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a lovely language, but it's a little bit hard. Ich kann Deutsch. Deutsch. You could be swearing in Dutch for all I know. Oh, I. Oh no. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> well then, shame. <laughs> if that is, then shame. Mm -hmm. Which, speaking of which, speaking of much. Um, so, as we're <laughs> playing today, <laughs> please keep the the chat feed to a PG rating for all the people. That that includes German and English and all the other languages, mm -hmm. because we yeah. have some younger viewers in the in the chat feed potentially. So we want to be courteous to them, and then no spoilers. That, it, that pertains to this game and any other games, and that's culprits or or big events that are about to happen. If we're like stuck on a puzzle, then you can help us there. But yes, yes. Yeah, so. um, otherwise, anyway. we are going to be playing a drinking game today. Thank you guys yes. for the suggestion. I have um, my water, and <laughs> and also we a shameless <laughs> plug-in right here to Starbucks. Starbucks is not my favorite, but. They are really fun when it comes to promotions and stuff mm -hmm. like that because, you know, being in marketing, I can appreciate good stuff. Like a buy one, get one free <laughs> on holiday <laughs> drinks. So we're indulging in... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sugar. Yeah, and, it's pretty great. Though. Oh, I forgot to get a decaf. 
Well, this will be fun. <laughs> I totally forgot to make a decaf. I was going to make a decaf. Oh, well, that's this is okay. Gonna, I'm going to be up for hours. That's <laughs> fine. Well, I mean, it's only 3.04 our time, so, Yeah, but you know. if I have caffeine after 2 o'clock, I'll be up until 2 o'clock. <laughs> I'm a lightweight. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so what are you drinking? I'm drinking this... Um, I forgot what I got. I forget um, what you got, too. It's a great school mocha frap. It's G R S C mocha frap. Let's reach their language say. Uh, grande salted caramel mocha oh, frappuccino. I, I forgot what read. I was drinking. I was just like, whoa, you read Starbucks efficiently. I read Starbucks <laughs> receipts. Mine's a grande toasted white chocolate mocha. Oh my gosh. That delicious. Sugar rush. It's a good thing I save these dessert drinks for like only Twitch streams, which only happen like <laughs> once a month or so. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, yeah. oh my goodness. But every time, and this is just for fun, you guys, just for fun, every time in the game when you see, hear, or see written the word or monster, the, the monster, <laughs> das monster counts as well, even yes. if it says it in German, take a drink. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you've got water or something to stay hydrated because this is going to be a very heavy drinking game. Mm -hmm. Monster. Das monster. Mm. Lemon and lemon water. You want tiramisu, huh? Ooh, anybody got tiramisu great. for you? Twenty three skidoo. Uh, welcome, twenty three skidoo. Uh, I think this was your first stream. I'm glad to have Ooh. you. Welcome. Yes, this is very exciting. So yeah, we get tiramisu is great. Yeah, tiramisu is amazing. It's like one of my favorite desserts when I go out to places yeah. to get is tiramisu. You know, the French bakery has it, right? Yeah. Yeah. They have yeah. it like as a big old slice of yeah, a slice. It's, it's a light, glory. And fluffy cream <laughs> coffee. I don't think they've got the booze in it. Probably not, but... Monstros. Monstros? Yes. Um, we don't really have a prize Ooh. today proper, but I do have one thing to give away today, and I'm not going to tell you what it is until I casually bring it up with someone, because I'm looking for someone very specific in the chat feed. I'm looking for a bit of information before I tell you what the prize is and if I'm going to give it to you because it has to go to someone specific. Mm -hmm. Anyways, before we get started, we're going to distract you with something fun. Um, <laughs> shall we begin? Shall we bring, bring me box. We have these. Let me get my... I have... I'm mean, eating a cheese danish, too. <laughs> mm. It's all good. Oh, what a mess. These are a disaster. I'm going to put that. Oh, okay. We have them. Um, okay. We received some boxes <laughs> in, the, in the mail today. Multiple so boxes. We're going to open so. these up and see. Uh, so these belong to people already. Yeah. So we're doing an unboxing video. We're doing an unboxing video real quick. <laughs> uh, and there's supposed to be 27 in here, so we need to make it, make sure that they're all counted, too. Oh, good call. Then we can start shipping these out to the appropriate... I am so bad at this. The appropriate <laughs> people, because these are already claimed. Yes. Um, they just had to come here first before they could go out to the people who are to receive these. Mm -hmm. But some of you might actually be in chat. So speaking of which, who all here is an international... Fan. Who is outside of the U.S.? Because I believe all these are going to you. There you go. Thank you. Games wow. are awesome. Oh, we, I suppose we could do unboxing videos, like when we have a game release. Oh my gosh. That these would be are full. We're going to have to get Whoa. bags. What? What? Holy cannoli. Look what's all in here. Oh, I'm just taking <laughs> up your face space right here. Oh, that's, <laughs> okay. that's okay. You can wait, take wait. my I face need to pull space. Up. I need to pull up my list. <gasps> Bam. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Not in front of your <laughs> face. That's all right. It's like, okay. Um, so this is this just shows whose is whose, but don't say their last names or okay. where they're from, really. Well, I guess we could say where they're from. I'm just going to pull up a random one. Um, who is he? So look, we've got so many shirts in here. Woo! So many, look. and they just jam-packed all of them in here. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, oh, well, look at, look at this, look at this, look at this. This is... <sighs> Cranberry male medium. No, 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 no. That's not that one. Oh, nope, I read that one. Is it this one? Oh. Ha ha ha! All right. Using our detective skills. This one right <laughs> here ha is an exclusively belongs to Hugh Woo! in Canada. Hugh, this one's yours. Congrats, Hugh. Congrats. Uh, we want to pull one out and see what you got. Shirts do we have? We have oh. this one. This is, uh, that well, was hard see. to see. Never mind. Let's see. 
have. Oh, I like this one. I have to show this one off. This one's great. Cranberry. Oh, this turned out good, too. Ooh. Mm. Uh, da -da -da -da. Well, I think I found that one. Yep. All right. This one, I'm so sorry if I mispronounce your name, is Salome. Sal Salome. 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 You get this shirt. Woo! It's got the Waverly Academy emblem on it. So, I don't it's see lovely. This one. But congratulations, this one is your shirt. I'm going to attempt to fold it up. I never fold it quite as nicely as they do, so I'm a little uh, try right yeah, now. It's always tricky. Uh, right. This one's not on the list. Oh no! <laughs> um, <laughs> well, wait a minute. Wait, let me reread the, all of this. No, 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 no. Oh, it's right here. I missed it. There we go. This one right here. It's a Nancy Drew thing you wouldn't understand. This one belongs to Natalina. <gasps> Congrats, Natalina. Wait, I want to see what one more thing is. If there's like another good one in here. Let's see. Oh, I love this. This is just fabulous. You go ahead and pull one out next. <laughs> all right, I'm, a, I'm not I gonna pull find. out too many of these because that I means I have to fold them all over again. True. Oh, let's I, see. I just love this design. Ooh, what's this one? Oh, what, this one. Is it? This one. Let me see. You should. You should read. No, you go ahead and read yours. I'm still looking for mine. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, wait. Da 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 da. Okay, and then this oh, one. Oh, it's called that. Black. And then da 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 da. Oh, I wow, see that one. that one. Where's and the green? Oh, one? all right. So I think if I'm reading the correct name for this one, this one is straight out of River Heights, and this goes to Lindsay. So, congrats, Lindsay. This is your shirt. Yes. It's awesome. And I love this. This is, um, uh, <laughs> I can't hold it up in the right you camera. Can like Anyways, it says single taken, too busy solving mysteries. <laughs> too busy solving it. mysteries. This one is going to Grace. Congrats, Grace. Oh, wow. I'm going to fold this very badly for you, Grace. I'm sorry. I'll do that again. I'll do it proper later. <laughs> Anyways, we've got all these fabulous t-shirts. We're going to have to count these later. I know. Seriously. I'm going to make sure everyone's got all the international orders. Because we have to ship them out from... Ooh! Ooh, which one's that one? I just love this. I need to own this one, too. I just want more, you guys. I love <laughs> these. Look, 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 look. It's the Blackmore Manor logo. Ooh. So legit. That's awesome. And yes, these, um, um, Fibon, Fibonacci, th yes, these are the costume contest t-shirts, so. This one's going to yeah. Laura. Congrats, Laura! Yes. Um, um, speaking of which, these are all the t-shirts from the, the Nancy Drew costume contest. Yes! Everyone who participated, um, in time and who included the proper hashtag ND costume in the post um, are getting a t-shirt and if you haven't received a message from us about um, about your t-shirt uh, go back to the place where you posted your entry and message us private message us yes and um, we I've already ordered like a whole bunch of t-shirts so they're in the works Amazon is making them right now but they'll be they'll be coming out in the next few weeks, um, and whenever Amazon gets done with making the T-shirts, then they ship them out. And we're going in the order of um, who all ha when you guys posted your entry. So the earliest ones are getting their T-shirts first, and if you posted your entry on the last day, it'll be a while before you get your shirt. Sorry, mm -hmm. because there were a ton. There were so many of entries. There was so. Like we're a little bit backed up on that, but like several hundred. <laughs> yeah, and um, That's a lot. If you participated in that, check back, check on your messages because we might have messaged you yeah. waiting for your teacher t-shirt request. Yeah, or check yes. on the photo that you posted and yes. shared with us. Either way, we'll comment on that or we'll message. And if not, send us a message through whatever platform. Yeah, there you go. So drop this right, right there. Yes. All right. I know free t-shirts. That's fabulous. <laughs> So I'm, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm wearing my Carl hat. Yes. And then Ooh, I've great. got, I keep forgetting her name, but a fan made this um, medallion necklace for me. You'll see this in the game later. It is seriously cool. It it's looks really very, cool. very close to the, to the actual one. So. And then I'm wearing my t-shirt. I came to see the creature and all I got was this lousy t-shirt, <laughs> which is in this game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. You can, you can buy it in the game. And then I'm... What are you sort of. I'm wearing suspenders, but it's supposed to be Lederhosen. Lederhosen. So this is as close as I could get. 
I'm not really wearing them. Like, they're Worse all it. loose. But, I mean. It's lovely. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm going to just. No, you know what? You know what? No, I'm going to keep it on. I'm going to uh, keep, keep it on. on. All right. Sport it with the right attitude. <laughs> Make it work. <laughs> um, I don't know you're out there. Put on our handy dandy headphones and let's go ahead and get into the game. Let's do this. Where is it? Is it this? <gasps> okay. Let's, let's, let's. Please work, please work, please work. <laughs> hey, that, that works. I know it's cut off, but I didn't want you guys to see my um, desktop uh, uh, start menu because it <laughs> doesn't look very good when it's on screen. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm sure. I'm going to have you play. All right. Why don't you play? You want this or not? Sure. Okay. I'll, I'll do the Sunny Dunes field research notes. Sweet. All right. So let's and bump the microphone. Ooh, Adventures of Koji and Kit. That's from Shadow at the Water's Edge. Ow! Oh, hey guys, what's up? What? I'm totally haunting this house. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. He's ready to party. <laughs> More tea. <laughs> I'll have all of the tea. Hooray for Hooray tea. Hooray for tea. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> See how to be a detective. There's Ooh. a scrapbook. Oh. Wait, is there, um... I don't remember if this is a bonus edition, but there might be money in this scene. I don't remember. No, maybe there money. isn't. Money! Maybe if we, like, flip through all this stuff. I don't think it's in there. Probably not. All right, well... Oh, I, did, I, I should have read the case file, <laughs> but that's okay. We'll find we out when we get there. We oh, yeah, we're playing for two hours? Yes. With a ten-minute break in the middle? Yeah. We're close to four-ish. Germany, a long time ago. Get your, drink. Get your drinks ready. Platform shoes. She was super stylish. Summer days. <laughs> That's. Is it That's just right. Mirrors the um. Huh? Just mirrors the internet running really slow. No. I can't tell. Is the internet running slow for? It looks like it's running slow. Oh, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna turn off the internet browser real All right. quick. Hold on one more one moment, guys. I'm gonna flip something <laughs> off real quick. I'm just gonna turn that off. That might help. I don't know. Here we go. <laughs> we'll see. Ding dong. That's better. Anybody home? Whoa. It's an intense doorbell. Hello? Hello? Open up, please. No, thank you. <laughs> we already have one. What? Huh? This is Nancy Drew. Please let me in. This is Lucas. Please let me out. <laughs> what? 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 That's what you sound like when you say that. What? what? Can I talk <laughs> to someone else about coming in? No. But if you can find the match, maybe I'll let you in. <laughs> All right. Well, fine. Whoa. All right. Check the match. Let's see. No. Let's see. There's an. Oh, wait. No, that one has no pocket. There's this one and this one. These are pretty close. I think, I think, I think this is it. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. Woot. Okay, I solved it. Nice job. Now for part two of your test. <laughs> Lucas! <laughs> you guys, good job. Gotta go. You guys, good job. Gotta go. <laughs> Nancy, sorry about Lucas. I'll have a little talk with him later. Come meet me in my study on the second floor. <laughs> second floor study. Go find him. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, wait, keep go. an eye out for monies. For monies? Yeah. I thought I saw... Oxum! Have a neat to get... Oh. Oh, dear. Yes! <laughs> I've never seen that before. <laughs> oh, Jeez. there's nothing more fashionable than <laughs> body piercing. Oh wait, did I say fashionable? I meant deadly. That's that's dark. 
Wow. Yes. Let's try again. <laughs> Yikes. Oh dear. Now we know. Now yeah, we know. Good gravy. All right. Let's that see. was German for do not touch. <laughs> well, was that really? <laughs> it oh. wasn't meant for Americans. <laughs> oh, we need to brush up on our German. That was terrible. <laughs> I don't know. My accent is terrible. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna keep trying. Oh, same. Cool. <gasps> cool. Money. Monies. And then can we take the bucket? Wait, are there awards in this game? Do you guys remember if there are metagame awards I at the end of I wonder what's down there. Trophies? Hello! <laughs> Hello down there! Well, given that you just hauled up some water, I would be willing to bet that there's water down there. Can you phonetically pronounce or spell out Octune? Like, how do I actually supposed to pronounce it? Okay, so there are awards, but this is one of the, the earlier games where you can't, like, check your progress as you go. You have to wait until the end to find out how many awards you get. Oh, Well, that's no bueno. Ooh. What a nice, lovely view. I know! This would be, like, a really fun place to stay. So, like, keep an eye out for any areas where there might be something hidden or, you know, for the monies. For all the monies. Let me in! Okay, fine. Let's see. Maybe we'll, we'll get an award for that. All right, let's see. Let's go in here. Doesn't look like there's any money. All right. This, ooh. <gasps> a book! The Brothers, the Brothers Grimm. Grimm. Librarians, professors, folklorists, Jacob and Wilhelm Grimm, better known as the Brothers Grimm, were born a year apart in Hanno, Germany. Did I say that right? In 1785, <laughs> 1786. There we go. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Their childhood was a relatively happy one, until their father died when the boys were in their early teens. I'm sorry. After his death, and the death of their grandfather shortly thereafter, the family struggled to make ends meet. Eventually, both Jacob and Wilhelm attended the University of M Marburg to study law. Mm. It was here at the university where the brothers' interest in collecting folk and fairy tales was first piqued. While traveling in France as a research assistant for one of the professors, Jacob became fascinated by a German manuscript of old stories he had found. Interested in keeping the tales and culture alive, Jacob and Wilhelm began their search for other such tales. Do you want to read? Where are you? I'm right over here. Sorry, I, I, <laughs> I, 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 was reading, I was reading comments. Where were you? That's okay, I'm right over here. The brothers solicited help from their friends, as well as trips to the surrounding countryside, in order to obtain as many tales as possible. A large majority of the tales came from female acquaintances, such as Dorth Dorothea Wilde and the Hassenflug sisters, wow. Am Amelie and Jeanette. The first edition of Kinder und Haschmarchen, Children's and Household <laughs> Tales, was published in 1812. And and contained 86 different tales. With the success of the first edition, the Brothers Grimm continued their search for additional tales. Though they attempted to keep the tales as true to the original telling as possible, the first edition was thought to be unsuitable for young children. <laughs> as a result, each subsequent edition of the book was edited slightly in order to make the stories more suitable for all audiences. The second edition, released in 1815, contained 70 new tales and five more editions followed over the years. The final seventh edition had 210 tales still seen today. Oh my goodness! I need to go talk to someone real quick. All right. Will you continue? I will be right back. Sounds good. The fairy tales were not only well or were not the only well-known project from the Grimm's. They also started work on Deutsch Warder Warder Butch Warder Book Warder that a detailed German dictionary that traced the origins of German words. Though they were only able to publish a small portion of the massive undertaking in their lifetimes, the dictionary was such a large project that it wasn't completed until nearly a hundred years after their deaths. Jacob Grimm also invented Grimm's Law, a formula that explained how consonants changed across languages. That would actually be really interesting, I don't know. By the end of the 1850s, Jacob and Wilhelm Grimm had received numerous honors and awards, were members of the Go Goten Gen 7, been librarians to the king, woo, and respected throughout the world before their deaths in 1863 and 1859. Their names live on forever as one of the, most, the foremost folktale collections of all time. Wow. Right on. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see. All right, so now we got to look around. Let's see, do we see any monies? So, okay, so do you guys know which fairy tales or which folk tales the Brothers Grimm's wrote? Like, which ones they were famous for? If you know, let us know down in the comments. 
Well, this looks important. Hey! Hey! Little jackalope, everyone! False alarm. Woo! I thought someone was calling for me, but they weren't. Oh. But, well, wait. So we just discovered that the Brothers Grimm were super awesome and very popular. Oh, they were. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what we learned today. Ooh, this we looks just, yeah. Ooh. <gasps> There must be a specific order to play these in. Three blind mice. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that one of the tables up? <laughs> no, it's not. Oh. No. Go ahead, play all you want. All right, let's see. Yeah, they did some Norella. Yeah. Well, Disney romanticized all the tales, so they made it less gruesome and romanticized. So, good love stories, you know? Cool. <laughs> all right, now we know we can play that, but I bet this is connected to this somehow. It is a Glockenspiel. <laughs> that was a... We got to play that kind of intro. Ooh. What is all this? Oh. Is a phone call. Nancy, it's Ned. Hi, Ned. Oh, hey. Sorry, the reception is a little bad here. So when are you getting in? I've got the perfect romantic getaway plan for the two of us. Took a lot of work to put together, but it's gonna be worth it. Well, there's been a hang-up. Sorry. Of course there has. Does this mean I have to cancel our plans again? Yes, but I promise I'll hurry home as soon as possible. I've heard that one before. I'm sorry I can't be more available, but I'm in the middle of something pretty important here. So what? I'll just hang out at home being bored? Nancy Drew, International Sleuth, gets to go out adventuring, while Ned stays at home. Again. Aww. I'm sorry you're not having a better time. If you're not having fun, then go out and have fun. You know what? Forget that I even said anything. Oh. I can see that I'm not that important to you. So forget it. No. Fine. Fine. That was not great. Oh. E. E. Keep an eye out for the lamps because there's sometimes a coin around there. All right. Well, that was. That wasn't. Uh, that was no bueno. He's uh, not happy. We have to translate that. Vor. Vor. Stuffin. Stuffin. Gifar. Gifar. Or Jafar. <laughs> Depends on if you have the. Okay, question. Yeah. Is can the G be silent? Like, like or not silent? Um, like a J or G sound. Like a J or G sound in German? I don't know. I don't know. Do you guys know? Um, right, did we freeze? Did we freeze? One uh, Happy Puppy Harley says we froze. Yeah, we'll need to get a dictionary. Yeah. I'm sure we'll find one soon. Oh, money! Ooh. We Yay. got money! Money, money. Oh. Did we? Well, we were just down there. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a... Oh. Oh, the, the, the. the charms! The charms! Aw, oh, yeah. Yeah, y'all. Let's see. Ooh, what was that? Oh, that was just the arrow. Alright, let's see. Can we go down here? There's nothing. There's the stairs. Or oh, there's more stairs. Ooh. Let's see. Can we go? Ooh, there's like a big old cellar down here. The test is obviously fascinated by every little translate. wall. <laughs> There are so many of them, and they're so <laughs> intricately detailed. The, is it just me, or does the ceiling feel low? It's actually getting lower every second. Mm. Every second! <gasps> A person! Oh. Hi, person! Guten Abend, Frau. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Sprechen? Sprechen Sie... Oh, do I speak German? No, sorry. No, no. I am the one to apologize. Carl, the Burgermeister, is supposed to tell me a little bit about each guest, like the language you speak and where you're from. This way I can have everything prepared for your stay. But again, he has not done this correctly. I'm Anya, the Castellan. <laughs> I'm in charge of guest services. I'm here to help you with anything you need during your stay. Nice to meet you. Thank I'm you. Nancy Drew. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Miss Drew. You sure picked an interesting week to visit. You must have a... That's it. A strong heart. Or strong <laughs> stomach. What do you mean? Yeah. What? You don't know? Then it's nothing. <laughs> it must be something or you wouldn't have said anything. Exactly. The castle's worked up in a panic right now, so I have to warn you that your visit here may not be the world-class experience we aim to provide. But I will do my best to make sure that your visit is a happy and safe time for you. Thank you. Why is everyone a little spooked right now? 
Oh, it's... Well, I suppose you'll find out about it anyway. I might as well be the one to fill you in. Mind you, don't get upset. Are you the easily frightened type? No. 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 <laughs> Good. You'd tell me if you were. There's nothing wrong with being scared. I'm not. Promise. Okay, good. But you do not need to worry about this, I see. How do you say this? There's a monster situation. Monster. Potentially taking shape. Taking shape. A monster situation? Well, that's the buzz around the castle. You need background. V, this castle, has a history. Legend around here says that a monster lives monster. in these woods. Once in a great while, he returns seeking a victim. Victim. People think that time is now. Oh my goodness gracious. What makes everyone think the monster is coming <laughs> here now? As long hmm. as I've been here, people always pointed out signs of his return. Cows would go missing, That's flocks so of good. sheep would disappear, claw marks would appear on the trees. Everyone would say, oh, the monster will be here soon! <laughs> but when he doesn't come, everyone calms down and forgets about the legend until strange things start happening again. Are strange things happening now? Yeah, but uh, different this time. How so? The signs are the same, but everyone is reacting differently. It's spooky. I heard once that before a tsunami, all of the animals will run to a higher ground. They just know. That is what it is like this time. We all just know. Hmm. What can you tell me about the monster? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, Nancy. A lot of the older people here say they've seen it, but none of them will say what it looks like. Why not? Not sure. Maybe they didn't see it. Maybe they did, and they don't want to remember. But everyone will tell you about the strange things that have been going on. Like what? Look, I could get into a lot of trouble for telling you things like this. <laughs> yes. Can you promise me that you won't tell anyone that I am telling you this stuff? I'm sure it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> it is. I love this job, Nancy. My job is to make you feel more at home, not to scare you. I'd feel much more comfortable if I had an idea of what was going on here. Hmm. Do you believe there's a monster on his way here? <laughs> what do you want me to say, Nancy? <clears throat> I can't answer anything like that at work. <laughs> Please. Please, I won't tell anyone what you say. <sighs> I do. It's stupid, I know. But there is something terrible out there. I can just feel it. We all can. It's taken everything I've got to stay here through this. I'll be right back. I'm going to take out the um, the floating cranberry toppings that's <laughs> in here. It's just kind of weird to have a whole bunch of lumps in my coffee. <laughs> I'll be right back. That would be a texture. It's a texture problem. Yeah. I just can't so stand it. <laughs> yeah, it's like those tapioca things. If you like it, great. And if not, then it just is really distracting. Nope. <laughs> so what about you guys? Do you guys like like bubble tea or do you like um, like chocolate chips or like anything in your drinks or does it have to just be like straight drink with maybe ice or something? Because I for what I like some great like stuff tea. in here. Is any of it for sale? Of course. This shop is very popular with tourists. Most everything is for sale. You'll find the prices listed. Cool. So everything is for sale. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, let's see. Okay, wait. I'd, I'd like, like to, to buy some souvenirs. some souvenirs, but I'm low on money. Any idea how I could make more? People are always dropping coins around the castle. Oh, and Carl has been offering to pay for people's help on that silly game of his. A game? What is this? What do the people who live here think about the monster? <gasps> monster, drink! People have stopped talking about it. Those who can have skipped down. Those of us who really live here, let's just say you're not going to be finding many open doors on a night like tonight. People are scared. Huh. This monster, does anyone know why it's supposed to be here? 
Legend says he comes from the forest whenever the girl in the necklace walks the castle. I heard you see the monster, so I gotta drink right. And he will stop at nothing to <laughs> steal her away to out. the woods. <laughs> well, then what happens? Uh, no one knows, but these girls, they are never seen again. None of them. Oh, that's crazy. I'm glad you got that out, because, yeah. That, it's just distracting if you don't like it. <laughs> and I'll be making all the weird faces throughout the entirety of the stream, and I will not be happy. <laughs> She's like, uh, uh, please don't say monster again. What's a Castellan? <laughs> I am in charge of the overall guest experience here. Carl, who you may have met earlier, is the Burgermeister. Sort of like the mayor. Or, I mean, that's what he would really be if he actually did any work. <laughs> I'm sorry, that wasn't really appropriate. Long day. I, I knew, I've known for a long time Burgermeister meant like the castle, or the mayor, the yeah. mayor of the town, but uh, I always think of Burgermaster. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, the I want to be a Burgermaster too. <laughs> Own the town. I have all the burgers. <laughs> I'm the Burgermaster. I'm master of the burgers. I'm master of the burgers. Burger, I make burgers all over. Mm. Uh, I always think of the Burgermeister from that Santa movie. I don't know if you, yeah, yes, yeah yes. The, like the claymation yes. one or whatever. There's yep. like Burgermeister Meister Burger. It's like, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so how did you get such a cool job? <laughs> I get asked that all the time. It's really fun here and pretty competitive. <laughs> I got my job by working my way up and managing smaller households and attractions in the area. Then one day there was an opening. I turned in my resume and crossed my fingers. All right. Pause one moment. Yeah. You see that book over there on the left, the green one? It says Jean Crotty Roth. That is actually an ambigram. No, not ambigram. Anagram. <laughs> There's a difference. An anagram of the two twins who worked on this game. I was going to say, as soon as you said, yeah, as soon as yep. you said the name, I was like, oh, that sounds. You, yeah, can, you can find their names in the credits and figure it out for yourself. <laughs> cool. See you later. Bye. Uh, Coco Kringle Cat. Uh, now, we're trying to switch some of the, uh, most of the shirts we've switched out, but um, Amazon had two types of shirt sizes, that two fits. Um, one was a slim fit, which was the default size, and everyone was upset that as soon as they got it, they didn't realize that it was a slim fit and it was a little bit tighter than they expected. And then there's the classic fit. Now, um, going forward, with all the new designs that come out, are all going to be classic fits, but um, there may be a few of our designs that we still have yet to swap. Mm -hmm. So um, when you do pick out your shirts, you need to be paying careful attention to the bullet points that are listed right underneath the drop-down menu for your shirt sizes. Because yes. it'll say classic fit, or um, like, I forget what slim fit is called. Mm, like, there's another name for it. I don't know. Well, cool. No story is complete without a villain, right? Right. Am I right? Wait, wait, wait. I want to see the books. The other books. What does this say? There's Jasmine Beethoven <laughs> by Dump Jay Hotzel. Dumpling Magic by... I can't read that. Chazro. Sassy Stuttgart. Wonder Kinder. Wonder Kinderger. Oh, the last name, Ulmer. One of the artists. Ooh. It was one of our artists. Her last name is Ulmer. A speck, a of, speck ham. of ham. <laughs> I would like a speck of ham. Just a speck. Over here, we've got the Warden Cliff Project. Ooh, that's a tease. Warden Cliff. We, that was an intentional, um, like, foreshadowing tease that was inserted into this game because that is um, a clue to a future game, The Deadly Device. Oh. I don't remember that. It's been a long time since I played that game. Let's see. Holzen, Holzen, Pfeffer. Holzen, is Holzen, Pfeffer? Holzen, mm. Pfeffer. Uh, yeah. Castle plumbing and German <laughs> as exists. Existentialism. Existentialism. <laughs> you know. Last name is Jones. That's one of our artists as well. He has a last name is Jones. Bohemian Raps by Odie. By Odie. Oh, I love Raps that. Odie. Bohemian Raps Odie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another tease right here, right here. Inside KV62. KV62 is the um, the dig site for uh, one of the tombs in Egypt. I can't remember if that's King Tut's or if that's um, Queen Efertari's tomb, but that is a huge clue into the next, like two games from now, uh, Tomb of the Lost Queen. That's so cool. I love all those little Easter eggs. Oh, and that's an Easter egg too. You see that, um, oh, we're not that picture? Oh, 
that picture way up there, that slider puzzle, that was in the final scene. Ooh. Don't, whoa, whoa, hello there. So there's Anya. That's Monster. Monsters! What? Oh yeah, this book was from um, Curse of Blackmore Manor. <clears throat> Oh, there's the Nox. Nox And the Doppelganger. Doppelganger. And Wapper Tinger. Box and Wolf. Nixie. Hmm. Wait, no, that wasn't in Curse of Black Mountain. Oh, it wasn't? That was new. Oh. Right? No. Ooh, Ooh! Have him grunt in German. Do all the buttons. <laughs> oh, I'll uh, efficiently. <laughs> uh, take, we're, we're in the shop, so there's okay. like monsters everywhere. <laughs> Growls sternly. <laughs> Reflectively. <laughs> Quite well. Quite well. <laughs> Matter of factly. Okay, now do it in English. Angrily. <laughs> Thoughtfully. Thoughtfully. Sharply. Sharply. All right. Yeah. Archly. Archly. And casually, casually. <laughs> I love it, <laughs> and it's exactly the same. I need that in my house at my entry. <laughs> so many monsters. I think we should buy that. Actually, I don't think we should buy that. I think we should buy everything in the store. I agree. <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait! Go back, go back. There's still more stuff to look <gasps> Ooh, at. Oh look, my shirt. <gasps> Look at that! Look at my I shirt. Didn't see the creature, and all I got was this lousy T-shirt, which you can purchase yeah. on our Amazon store. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go out here. Oh, this is the front entry. Cool, cool, cool. Well, we have not found Carl yet in the second floor study. True, Carl. Carl. I feel like there was a. I feel like there was. Oh, yes. money! Yes, dust monies. All dust monies. And we go up. Who is calling what did you do to Ned? <laughs> Hi, Frank. I'm uh, serious. You better hope his brain is under warranty because you have broken it. At least it wasn't his heart. No, broken. is he really upset? I've never seen him this upset before. Joe's working overtime to cheer him up. I don't know exactly what's going on, but you might want to give him a call. Ugh, this connection is awful. Give me a call when you've got a better line. Let me know what you're up to. Joe and I will keep an eye on Ned. Thanks. See you later. Catch you later. <laughs> All right. She's oh. like, oh, okay, you guys watch him. Okay, bye. Yeah, you guys cheer him up. Sad. Poor Ned. All these plans and for what? And there's no monies on the lamps. Ooh, but there's a special secret thingy back here. Security camera. <gasps> oh. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. History of Castle Finster. That's his castle. Cool. Oh. Yeah, there's a lot of reading in this game. All right, but there's a big... A bee carved in the zone. A bee. Yeah. Like a bumblebee. Burger oh, Meister! Burger Meister! Hello! Guild is money. Okay. Oh, wait! Ooh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Somebody's playing with toys. I forgot about that. <laughs> you must be Nancy, yes? <laughs> That's right. I'm here to help you take care of the monster sightings. Oh, yes. Oh. Shh, shh. There is certainly no monster frowline, <laughs> and there have been no monster sightings. Everything is fine. There is no need for alarm. We have a huge monster, monster. problem here. <laughs> Literally and also figuratively. The monster is huge, and it is also a huge problem. <laughs> I need your help. Why are you doing that? Doing what? What? Talking so loudly. <laughs> Who is listening in? I am the Burgermeister, Nancy. If I appear to be scared, how will everyone feel? The last thing I need is the castle newspaper picking up on how bad things are. The castle has its own newspaper? <laughs> of course. Doesn't yours? I don't really live in a <laughs> castle. <laughs> How do you protect yourself from peasant uprisings? <laughs> well, it's you know, never really been an issue. Never been an issue. Can you tell me a little bit about this monster? What? You want details? It's a monster. It is monstrous. Get rid of it, please. And thank you. Please, and thank you. Get rid of it. <laughs> Earlier, you hid some things when I came in. Were they dolls? Fraulein, these are not dolls. 
Okay, of course. what are those items? <laughs> These are injection molded, professionally crafted, physical, tactical, multi directional, place holding avatars. Uh, okay, okay, so <laughs> pause for one moment. This is a moment where our design team had, at every opportunity, they had to make fun of the Germans and how they have. They describe and say things in the longest way possible. <laughs> like in America, we keep everything short. We have slang. We um, use contractions in our sentences. We just, you know, shorten everything. Even our names, yeah. we shorten to shorter names. Because but we make yeah. fun of the Germans because they say it in the longest way possible. So it's not a doll. It's an injection molded, professionally crafted, <laughs> physical, tactical, multi directional, place holding avatar. Of course. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the first letter of each of those words, it says. Ah! <laughs> Which means. That's right! Oh, Which means precisely what it looks like. Good. So. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. All right. Calm. Anyway. Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> Therefore, a fully immersive strategic map inclusive, inclusive campaign, campaign tabletop set, set I built. built. <laughs> okay, I know those words, but that is the extent of what I took away from that sentence. You Americans would call it a game. Game. <laughs> yes, we would call it that. But that is because in the rest of the world, games are not taken seriously. Here, we take games very seriously. Very seriously! Whoa. That is why German board games are the best in the world! Alright! And our design team would argue that too. Like, we actually played some games in German. And they're really uh, fun? And they are... They're real. Well, they're, a little, they're way more complex than American games. But the strategy and the way you have to think to accomplish anything and win the game... It is so much more interesting and so much more satisfying to to go through that and to play that and to win. So, well, if you guys cool. ever have a chance to play a German board game, I highly recommend it. Here's one that you can try. It's called Vertung. 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 Yes, and the American version is called um, Planes, or no, Trains. Oh. <laughs> it's called Trains. trains. Uh, no, Ticket to Ride. To I think. Yes. 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 I believe um, Ticket to Ride is the um, American version with uh, the uh, with trains, but the same exact concept idea in Vertung, but it's with planes, Ooh. and it's in German. I feel same like play style. I've heard of Ticket to Ride, but I yeah. haven't played it. Anyways, we did a lot of research for these games, <laughs> meaning Friday board <laughs> game during lunch. <laughs> that sounds great. They are? Yes, they are. Just so you know, many of the most popular games throughout the world actually were created in Germany. And now I'm working on creating a new game. When it is done, it's going to turn the strategy world on its ear. On its Which ear. now that I think about it, as an expression, does not make a great deal of sense. True. Why is that? Because why would it be on its ear? <laughs> this is Preposterous. Preposterous. <laughs> no, the other thing. Why is this game so important? You'll have to see. Tell me you'll play. It's not perfect yet, but it's pretty great so far. At least that is what I think. But you should be sure to tell me what you think. Don't yeah. be shy. Yeah. I can always use constructive criticism. Sure, I'd love to. Great! It's called Raid. The game is very simple. It's just about using the best strategy and, of course, finding the coolest looking character. Ready? Yes. I'll play blue if you play the other two Easy. colors. <laughs> Alright. Excellent. Yeah, that's probably a good call. I got to play test this game before it was actually in the game. Like, we were all, we were paper and pennies for tokens. That's so cool. It was so great. I got to play test this before anybody. That's what I said. Okay, wait. So he landed on green, right? So we want the green thingy? Yes, you are battling him for the green points. So we look at the cor yeah, the corner down there. Oh, it's a tie! <gasps> well, all right. Let's see. Oh, we have to roll or spin the spinner. Okay. Here we go two. So um, pick a opponent. Uh, you probably want to pick like yellow because they have less options to choose from. So pick one with a yellow high score. So that's only twelve. Yellow. Uh, wait. Oh, sorry. No, red. <laughs> I was like, red. wait. Sorry. <laughs> ah! There. I was like, wait. Do I not know the... Oh, oh, no! 
Lose. Boomer days. I know, this needs to be a physical board game. I know. Didn't we have... Didn't we have someone who made it? Yeah, we know someone who might be able to make it, but this game is actually quite complex to build, um, and we really don't know who would all actually buy it, so we'd have to... What we'd have to do is we'd have to order a special order of X amount, like say 100 of these, and then sell them on our own website and hope they sell. They probably wouldn't put this in stores for us. Oh, but if we if we could whoa, whoa. I'm gonna do that one. If we could sell this, like I, I think that'd be so cool to make that available because it's really fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we win. You know, it would be a lot of work though. Is if I made those cards, printouts, printables, so you could print out yourself. Oh wait, I tried that once before and I couldn't because the game card art quality was so resolu was low resolution. It was meant for digital only, so they'd be like this big if I were to print them at full scale. Oh. So I would actually have to redo all the art, and that's a lot of art. Yes, that's a lot of art, and it's really detailed too. Mm-hmm. Which one are we wanting? Um, what are we on? Oh, wait, um, whose turn is it? It's, it's, it's purple's, purple's turn. Where's pur purple's on the green, so on the green. we're battling oh, okay. for green. So you want green? Ah. Oh, well then we'd want Mr. Farmer. The corn cannoneer, excuse me. Yeah! Woo! Um, games are awesome. Take a look at the very middle top number. It's <clears throat> in white. Um, the front one means how forward you go, and the second number means how backwards you go. So, see, five, six. If you win, you go forward five. Or if you lose, you go for backwards six. So, alright, let's see. Two. Alright, so you're, you are picking an opponent to battle. We're gonna pick You're this going one. to be battle. Oh. Oh! Oh, right. Because okay. purple means you get to take their card. Oops. Wow. Yeah. You don't really know what I said. Oh, These well. two are battling <laughs> each other. <laughs> Rumple stilt skin gold some. <laughs> oh, poor purple can't catch a break. Okay, yellow is. Okay. Oh, wow. And who's going to win this one? Oh, purple one. Ugh. Well, that's awkward. So, yeah, so yellow doesn't have any cards. So oh, there we has go. to go back. Alright. Alright, so it's your turn. Cool. Go one. go one. You get to take an extra card. Oh. And green, so you get to battle someone for green. All so right. look for your green highest number. And it's the farmer. Corn cannoneer. Yeah. All right. Hopefully he doesn't have one. Yeah! Yeah! Woo! We win. We beat six. Yeah, we Scuba. did. Woot. Five, six. So that means eight, we get oh, to... Oh, um, we went up nine. Sweet. We get to move up forward then. Does that make sense? Games are awesome. Let's see. Oh, wait. What did they land on? It's purple's turn? Oh, purple is battling us. Oh, so it's um, green. So for green. So look at your green numbers and see which one's the highest. I don't, we don't have much, so. No, we don't. So this guy. We'll try. <laughs> we'll try. Oh, we win! <gasps> we win! Yeah! So that means they have to go back seven if you look Ooh. at their card. What a bummer. Yep. Oh, wait. Back. <laughs> Poor purple. Great. So when you hit that black tile, you have to go to the last black tile spot. Which is kind of none, so it's the beginning. What a bummer. All right, We're so... Battle. Wait, we gotta take a card? Or no, that's just purple. You can read the game rules to find out what red means, but... We're gonna fight you. Oh, 15. Ooh, wow. 15. I don't think you we can get much higher than that. Too. Sweet. So if you win... Wait, mm -hmm. is it your turn? Yeah, then we go okay. three. You move forward two. Oh, two. Yeah. Look at us go. We're so good at this. Yeah, and every time you're out of a card, that person gets a new card at the end of the turn. Whoever's turn it was. We have so many cards. We're crushing it, everyone. And all of these characters are loosely based on the actual Grimm's fairy tale characters. And our designer um, emails the entire company saying, Hey, how would you redefine these characters um, into new designs, but still be recognizable? 
And what's their little description? So a bunch of team members, myself included, uh, sent our ideas over to the designer and she implemented them and the artists redesigned them for us. So, so this is kind of a company effort working on this game, at least the characters. So, so mine was Professor Sparrow and R.S. Goldsum. Cool. And um, the uh, Sailor Braid. No, wait, the Sailor Braid Lady, I think I have her different. She was changed. I think Fairy Trigger was mine, too. I don't remember. Fairy yeah, because I liked, I liked the, like, the remote control joystick. <laughs> Whoa! So many cards. But, of course, our wonderful artists illustrate all, all these. And they're very good. Oh, my goodness. I love them. <laughs> the Golden Hunter. Welcome, Arin Zelly. Yes. And Renzelli, sorry, I, I, I'm not dyslexic, I promise. <laughs> well, it is tiny writing to read from here. Oh my uh, goodness. Someone mentioned the uh, Murder on the Orient Express movie coming out. Um, I would love to go see that. I, I need to see that. There is an, a, an old video game that was made by Dreamcatcher? Either that Dreamcatcher made the earlier Agatha Christie games. Uh, they were my concepts, like they were in writing. Um, so like the descriptions that you see and what they generally are supposed to look like without actually me drawing them out. And I sent those ideas to the designer and she um, sent them over to the artists and the artists created them. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my goodness. So I don't take full responsibility or credit for them because the whole raid design was done by the designer. Um, and the artists designed all of that, and then the programmers helped make the game work. But you still input your ideas, so... Yeah. Which um, I'm kind of proud of, but I don't have much like ownership of it to be proud of, so... Um, let's see. Oh, green. Oh, I don't get to choose? Where? Wait, which one? Oh, I, I think he has a discard, right? Oh, okay. Wait, no, wait, read the, read the game rules, because you're on green flower. Squares yeah. card. Picks up a card from their hand to return to the deck. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. So you have to get rid of one. Oh, So well get then, rid of an extra, yeah. like one of your RS cool sums or something. Yeah. Because we have a billion of those. And then I battle someone. I'm going to battle you. <laughs> yeah, there are quite a bit of Agatha Christie games. They're really older, so the graphics are meh, and the, and the storyline is pretty streamlined, pretty linear. And a little bit difficult, but um, if you wanted something new to try, I'd suggest them. Um, I started playing And Then There Were None, which is based on the book, I think. I think most of them are anyway, so. Wait, this one's um, yellow. Whoa, 14. Boy, purple is on yellow. 15? Okay, yeah, there we go. I think 15 is probably going to be the best. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. Yeah! Oh, they go back three. Bummer. All right. Yeah, I think it was Dreamcatcher, but I believe there might have been a second studio that was involved with it, which is why I think that turned up on my search results. It's like, it started with an A. All right, so let's see. I have to surrender one of these. I'm going to surrender Goldham. And I'm going to battle you. You don't have very many options. Yeah. Well, you're on blue, right? Yeah. So we want this guy. The golden Hunter's worth 12 in blue. And blue is what? The magic element? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, now you're almost to the castle. I know. Okay, wait. Do you have to get an exact one uh, to uh, get there? I don't think so. Okay, good. Okay, wait, wait. So purple is battling you for red. Red? All right, let's see. We've got one, four, seven, fifteen. Ooh. Wow, I think I know which one I'm going to do. <clears throat> yeah! Yeah! Woo! Yeah. So we Beat have to em. go back seven. Ouch. Yikes. Oh, three? Oh, wait, that's oh. right. The white are um, stopping points. See you, Ninja Shrimp. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, yes. Thank you. All right. Here we go. We're going to win. And 
you. We're gonna battle you. And for what? What do we? We want red. Oh wait, what's the what? Because we're we roll the your... three. Oh okay. And then we're battling oh. them. So you have to battle someone to get in there. So on red. So you're battling on red. Okay. Seven. Ooh. Ooh. We don't have a lot of good options. Professor Sparrow. All right. Please come on, us. Professor Sparrow. You can do it. Oh, it's oh, a tie. It's high. So then nothing what does that happens. Mean? Yes, it is true. The backgrounds of a lot of these cards are from other games. Oh, how dare he. Here comes yellow. Uh oh. And they're battling you for green. For green? Oh, yeah. Well. We got a lot of RS gold. Oh, Donkey Kings. Oh, All good. We tied. Tied. Ah, that would have been a lot of spaces to go back. That would have been a bummer. <sighs> All right, we can do this. I'm gonna battle you with oh, seven. That's red. that's better than what we had. <laughs> you don't have very many good red. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> oh man. E no. Oh no. This is no bueno. Oh good. She's. I think oh, she's okay. double. Digit. Yes, that's good. With you. Okay, but just don't use it until it's your turn. Because you need to use it on your turn. True. Okay, wait. Wait, but then... So... Oh... Uh, what are we battling for? She's on red, too? Red. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, what no. should we do? We should, um... What should we do? Oh, no. I'm gonna go with RS Gold, though. <laughs> I'm gonna regret it. Oh, no. Ooh! Oh, no. Oh, no. So we go back five, don't we? Oh no! Oh, they no, go forward! No, because it, it was their turn, so... Phew. Well, that would have been really unfortunate. Battle! Battle, battle for blue! Oh, not you, though. Then you guys can totally play other other adventure games. There aren't too many adventure games out there, unless you look at the Dreamcatchers collection, which are from, like, the 90s and the 2000s. Because the adventure games aren't really much of a thing these days, so they're hard to find. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, what a bummer! Oh no! Oh, the, oh dear! <laughs> we don't have very good cards. If you guys wanted an interesting adventure game, which I think was Dreamcatcher, um, check out Egypt 2. Yellow. Egypt 1 was good, but Egypt 2 was even better because Egypt 2 was like a mystery. You were a doctor back in the Egyptian, like, ancient Egyptian days. You were a doctor trying to investigate this illness, which everyone was saying, oh, it's a curse, da 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 But there's something really logical happening, and you have to, you know, heal people and investigate, and it's really cool. Ooh. Egypt 2. Sounds fun. You're just hanging out at the castle door like forever. <laughs> like, please let me again. I know, but this time we've got a good card. We've got, I think he's is like 15 or something. So unless yeah. this guy has a freak card, then we should be able to beat him. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. All right. Well. Finally. Yeah. That just took nice forever. Nice round. Day. What did you think? Um, I, I like loved it. it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah you're, you're I knew it. Friend. I said no, to I myself, <laughs> Carl, this is the one. This is a game that's going to put you on the map. <laughs> Here, take this for your trouble. <gasps> Money! Ooh, Money! He's actually like Thanks. paying us. Well, sweet. I like your. I like your later hosen. Oh, later hosen. Yes, yes. Get it out of your system now, Fraulein. Get it out of your system. What do you mean? No one likes leather hose and look at these! <laughs> All of these straps and hooks and what have you. It's like I can't be trusted to keep my shirt on. <laughs> you know how long it takes me to put these on in the morning? Nine minutes! <laughs> it's not like they look good. I look like a sad old Pinocchio. <laughs> oh and why do you wear them? It's part of Marcus's Bavarianization of the castle. He wants to give Taurus a more authentic, authentic. experience when they come here. It sounds hmm. like you're not a fan of that idea. I grew up here. I know authentic. If he wanted authentic, he should have come to me instead of stuffing the castle full of idiotic tourists. Uh, no offense to you and your fanny pack wearing <laughs> loud talking country people. Loud talking, huh? Sounds like you don't like tourists. <laughs> oh, God. We have no business having tourists here. It isn't right. <laughs> Who 
Who's Lucas? <laughs> Lucas is the castle's other monster. Monster? What do you mean? <laughs> He's the head of security son, so he's always wandering around, meddling, talking, endlessly talking, chattering away about some inane thing. It never ends with that one. <laughs> How can know. someone who knows so little talk so much? The talking is more annoying than all of the pranks. He pulls pranks. <gasps> can you catch me up on what's been happening with these monster sightings? <laughs> the castle is emptying out. I've never seen people be this nervous. You've got to get to the bottom of this quickly. His finger's just like, hmm, please. All right. What has happened with the monster <laughs> so far? <laughs> I don't know. I've heard all sorts of things. Magda saw him out in the woods last week. She was out gathering herbs after a rainstorm. And she got She drops away. her basket, and when she looked back up, she saw him standing there. She was sure she was going to get it, but the monster just walked away. Where is Magda? Can I talk to her? You can try, but good luck with that. She's bolted her door and she hasn't come out since that night. Come to think of it, you should leave her alone. It's like, never mind, just don't forget, forget about it, forget about it. I just want to ask <laughs> I just want to ask her a few questions. I know exactly what you want to do, and I'm telling you that you need to leave her alone. Alone? Bye. <laughs> Come on. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, actually, now is a good time for a 10 minute oh. intermission. Cool. All right. <laughs> Sorry about that. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. <laughs> hey, question for all those who are, you are in chat right now. Um, does anybody here wear um, t-shirts that are a women's size, regular, large, 100% um, cotton t-shirt? Does anyone here wear that size shirt? And also, do you like Moonchunk? You know, like the, the candy that's in some of the Nancy Drew games? Moonchunk? Mm -hmm. Sounds like Paige Griffin. It's like, go away, please. <laughs> go away, please. Brit B1, um... Are you in the U.S.? Ooh, you have a bento in that size. That's oh, bento. Cool. Ah. And yes, Brit B1, you are in the U.S. You are you are in the U.S. Brit B1, how would you like to have this? Ta-da! What could it be? What could it be? It's a moon chunk shirt. It's a moon chunk shirt. Whoa. That seems women's size large. It's 100% cotton, so I might shrink a little bit. Would you like this, Brit B1? It smells like the store. <laughs> Actually, it smells like packaging. We just Which happen means to have it's new and fresh. New and fresh, yes. Um, it it happens to be just an extra one that's lying around here that was not going to anyone during the t from the uh, the contest. So, I mean, they're very specific sizes and colors and designs, so it's kind of hard to give away. But mm -hmm. do you want it, Brit B? If you want it, yes, you would. Okay, Britt B, if you could private message us your name and your mailing address, we will send it to you. Yes. Congrats. Thank you very much. And congrats and thank you for showing up to our Twitch party. Yes. This will be going to Britt B. I need to write write that name down. Oh, yeah. B-R-I-T-T-B-1. B-1. A-A-R-D-B-A-R-K. Plus Z equals moon chunk. I'm getting really sugared out from this drink. <laughs> it's pretty great. I know, mine's <laughs> almost completely empty. <laughs> um, we will be giving another, a few other things away uh, the rest of the Twitch party days. Yes. So um, you have to be present for one, for, for next Thursdays. Yes. Um, but you don't have to be present exactly. Well, you have to show up at least once tomorrow. But. for a giveaway then but we are going to take a 10 minute intermission break you guys yes. um go get a snack refill your drinks take a break uh we'll be right back i'm going to i'm going to downscale the resolution size on this stream so hopefully it will prevent any lagging that may have that may be happening yeah i'm gonna change out a few batteries and we'll be right back you guys all right see ya in a few in a few monster monster <laughs>
Hey! Hi! It helps if I unmute it. <laughs> it tends to. Louise Wolf? 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 You saw that <laughs> the Nancy Drew games I had on YouTube, like the, 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 either the Ghost of Thornton Hall one or the Shadow of the Water's Edge? We made those. Like, we, we yeah. made it. Oh, you're all fur, blessy, blurry, fuzzy, blurry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay. It just keeps the mystery up. They're like, who is she really? Yeah, but right. anyway. But yeah, it's true. Yeah. We made them. I think you made, made the most them. recent batch. Yeah. So. yeah, you did all the travel ones, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was uh, during the September. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mug and chair forever. Never stop. <laughs> Never stop. Never stop. stop. <laughs> well, you guys have to pick out who's going to be the man of the year calendar for this game, too. True. We don't have any other announcements, but so let's get back into playing the game. Yeah. For those of you who are joining us recently, we are playing a drinking game. Every time you see monster, either or in English hear it or see it or hear it or see it, yeah, then you have to take a drink of whatever whatever your beverage, beverage of choice is. I need some water. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, we're back. <laughs> Let's go. So yeah, bring all your snacks and stuff and come she's, right on back. He's playing. Yes, and I'm going to take a look at all of his stuff. All the stuff. Ooh. See, now this is the kind of room I would be hanging out in most of the time. Except, here's what? the thing, though. If you have a room like this, yeah. the rule is mm -hmm. you have to have some sort of secret door. Yes. Because if you don't, then you're not doing it right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here are all the paces. Hey! And I think oh, in that book right there? Yeah. That, that's a that's a Edgar Allan oh. Poe book from Warnings of Waverly Academy. I was going to say, yeah, with the cat. Yeah. With the black cat. Oh, and there's... Oh, oh. What an interesting painting. Why do you say that, Nancy? It was in the cards. <laughs> I know. A Sound Whoa. of Thunder. A Sound of Thunder by Ray. And we'll never know who the last name was. I love my Nancy Drew 147. It was cold this last weekend. In fact, it snowed a lot last week. Nancy, I'm <gasps> shocked. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm looking oh, around. sorry. Shame, I'm shame. looking around Wait, at your you get... stuff. Wait. Is that a second chance? Nancy, I'm shocked. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just uh, turned around. <laughs> You're not turned around. Do it, do it, do it, do it. What are you doing? Oh, sorry. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Didn't think you'd mind. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy, these are terrible excuses. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nancy, I'm shocked. What are you doing? Poking around your stuff, dude. What's Ain't that? Ooh. Oh, here are all the cards. Oh, that's bad. Nice <laughs> color. I want you to put everything exactly the way it was. <laughs> Sorry. I will. <laughs> See, oh, that's yeah, bad. I need to get yeah, trays to their bad. original levels. <laughs> that was okay. really funny. <laughs> all right, so the monster weighs its value Whoa. by the orange color. The hero measures its value by the blue color. The magic weighs its value by the red. Oh, all and right. And you need to get those scales to the line that's showing up behind the wall, on the wall back there. Okay. So, so let's see. there's and monsters. I think in in the book it says which 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 characters are monsters, heroes, and magic. And by the way, we're we're seeing the word monster, so take a drink. Oh yeah. Mm. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, Christy Doll, what do you mean? Do you take YouTube channel on the community page or just Twitch only? What What do you mean by the question? I'm not sure. Drink three times, yeah. Because the monster's on there three times. I have no idea where it goes. All right, let's see. So we've got, let's see, this is clearly magic. Go ahead and shout out which kind of characters are what, like, um, like, Bonaparte, the rabbit. Um, is is he monster hero or magic? Go ahead and shout out in the chat feed, you guys. I feel like for those who know. Let's see, like what? Brittany Bish, when your drinks run out, you get another round. See, I have two drinks with me right now. I'm working on my holiday coffee, <laughs> <laughs> coffee buzz, nice. when sugar, because I forgot to get it decaf. <laughs> and I have a, a glass of water because I need to be drinking more water. It's healthy. Ugh. So you've got the levels right, but you've got the 
characters in the wrong spots, I think. Okay. The pirate girl is a monster. She's a monster? Yeah. Okay. Enchanted mirror is a magic, so you got that right. Oh, so close. This is the, the heroic bunny. All right, wait, so you probably go over here then. And then I'm gonna switch you with, with the bunny. That didn't do anything, so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna try switching all the magic people. Nope, that's a bad plan. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, I think the golden hunter is magic, so I think you need to switch these two. Oh, he is? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. So that's that's magic. So wait, and it weighs by the by the color, doesn't it? I suppose. I'll bet it does. I I totally bet it does. Okay, so let's see. Here was blue. Da ba dee da ba die. So if we do, <laughs> <laughs> so if we switch this one and this one, then we switch this one. All right, all right, mm -hmm. and then if we do, let's see. By the monster. Aquilina, that is hilarious. Bailey's. Dumb. I'm going to say this one. Nope. That reminds me of the uh, drink that I will be making this weekend eggnog. The non kid friendly version. Ooh, sounds delicious. There's a lot of nutmeg and spices and eggs hmm. and other things. Cookies! Ah! Brittany Bish, you've got cookies? And your holiday Starbucks drink. Oh, you nice. have got it all. <sighs> nope, 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 nope. She's quite heavy. Does anybody else have a strategy guide or something? I mean, we could back up and look at the um, the book because it identifies who's who. True. Ah! Whoops, oops. Oh no, I'm switching everyone. Okay, so let's see. We're like super close, I feel like. I feel like he's supposed to go there. What if we switch that? Oh. It looks so close. I know. What are we doing wrong? We should back up and see the book. Yeah, good call. Oh, it has to redo everything. Oh. Okay. Let's let me take notes for you. Here we uh, go. Go through the next page. Okay. So let's see. Ah, there we go. Okay. Um, it says. So this is a monster. This is a monster. And then okay. this is a hero. Wolf equals monster. Donkey equals hero. Okay. I've seen that image before in one of the paintings here. That's oh, there's a picture of a key on that. <gasps> Ooh, that's good to know. Okay. Let's see, so it's Sparrow. Yeah, this one's magic. Sparrow's then... magic? Yeah, oh, and the Sparrow then... is magic. Yeah. Wait, and... wait, wait. Oh, sorry. I was wrong. I was wrong. The Sparrow is oh, hero. Hero. Um, the Golden Hunter is magic. Sorry, I was looking at his thing and I was like, magic. All right. And then we don't see Gold Thumb. We do see her and she's oh. a monster. A sailor, Monster. sailor red braid. Okay. And then the fairy is a magician. Okay. And we don't have the gold cam here. The Bonaparte is a hero. He's a sea hare. This guy is the robber, and he is a monster. And Who's then... the monster? Oh, magic is mirror. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then, all right. Yeah. So now. Oh, all right. Okay, so let's see. So we did we have all that right? We have this or this or this right? This right? Yeah. Okay. So we've got we've got the people in the correct columns. Now we just need to do some switcheroo. Yes. Let's see. Hmm. How to switch? Whoa. Nope. So let's monster. not do that. Yeah, you got the monsters good. He it's like one so of the and the donkey. Hunter, fairy, hunter. Okay. Ugh. So yeah, you just need to arrange the numbers. Oh no! Oh, it's so close. It's like two over there. Yeah. This one? The heroes. Oh, the heroes. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's ever so close. Okay, wait. So this doesn't do. Wait, wait, wait. Put that back. Switch him with fairy trigger. Never mind. That was terrible. Oh, Never but mind. it was no, it was okay. 
Oh, they're saying move red braid to the left. Red braid to the left. Everything you own and oh, oh. <laughs> and wolf on the right side of the monster. Ah. Wait. Oh, what? Wait, what? Oh, put the wolf on to the right side. Yeah. Oh. Ah, that's, no. That's go back. Go back. Go back. All right. Let's try that again. Oh. Uh. The first. Oh, the first row is sailor red braid, donkey, and fairy trigger. All right. Check. Okay, so we'll just swap a couple of those over there. Let's see. Yeah, maybe. Nope. <laughs> Bad call. Bad call. <laughs> Alright, let's switch you. Switch Professor Got Scott. it! Yeah! Yay! Thanks, you guys. Hey, what's that? Grab it! I have to translate that. Carl's from Marcus. No! You have something, something, something. You must something, 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 Marcus. Listen! Looks like I've said listen. Listen, I bet you're right. Mm. Woohoo. I love... She just knocks off... That's bad. That's bad. <laughs> like, oh, you think? Thank you, Cuckoo Pringle Cat 22. Yes, thank you for your help with the puzzle. They say good translation. <laughs> That's good. Spot on. <laughs> we are the best. Oh, oh, leave oh. us alone, people. <laughs> That's it, Marcus. Oh. Self-reception is notorious up there. Give me a call back on the landline in your room. There's a landline in our- I have a room? We have a room? Cool! Wait, 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 wait. Turn around. There. Okay, there's an Easter egg with this. It looks like I need to match the glass pattern, but I don't have all of the pieces. Uh, which we might have to come back for to do the Easter egg later. Because we need more pieces, right? Yeah. Do you remember Christy doll if we have to have all the pieces to get the Easter egg? Do we? I don't remember if you've well, mentioned that. If we- ah! Upstairs is the room. Upstairs. Okay. Wrong way. So, up. if we go up here, then we go. Oh, that is a beautiful painting. <gasps> a Friar's daughter. I don't know. The Friar's daughter. Oh, I I only have to remember <laughs> remember that. I'm just like just fresh, fresh, and you're like the Friar's daughter. And Renzilli, Ned has ah. called once. Yes. Yes. And he's very upset. He was very. This must upset. be the room that Carl set up for me. Reserved for Nancy Drew. All right. It's like the only room in the Whoa. castle. So for let. That music is super ominous. The Unga Hoylikkeit <laughs> Festival. Celebrate the safety. Celebrate the safety. That's the <laughs> thing that we celebrate. <laughs> Featuring polka. Whoa. Ooh. Wow. Look at all these activities. Ooh. Let's find out what. So, what do we want to do today? Let's see. Let's how do we plan our schedule? Fire. We're starting off the morning with the opening address. Okay. And then we have a cow release parade. Oh my gosh! <gasps> with Wonder Kids. That's monster. Oh, monster. Oh, monster. Open dining. Wow, this actually looks mm. like really fun. Legendary creatures, fairy tale theater, cow wrangling, sheep herding, sheep shearing, forest tracking, herbs and <laughs> mushrooms, forest safety, cow night herding. That's wow. like fun. Starry skies. Oh, romantic. Ooh. Bonfire lighting and fireworks. How nice. Fire. This festival has everything. Wait, wait, Why wait. would you ever need anything else? Right. But look, it starts off with bonfire builder, as if that was a competition to make you do the work. <laughs> and then we have a bonfire lighting. That's clever. I wonder what monster... Oh, look, Monsters 101. <laughs> monster walks. Walk like a monster, yeah. <laughs> Do the monster walk. Open... Oh, dear. Open stage. For two hours. That can't be cool. Wow. Poka prowess. Ooh. I'm going to that. <laughs> You have a prowess. There's a technique and an art. There's an art to it. to it. Yeah. You can learn to waltz and the waltzing wonders and die Western. Let's Decorative see. garnishes. Oh. Pretzels and more. <gasps> I'm there. <gasps> Mix strudel. Ooh. Ooh. This is great. Oh, cowbell chorus. I like that. <laughs> We're ringing cowbells of different notes. <laughs> this needs more like cowbell. Fun. Oh, yes. <laughs> cowbell jam. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Special guest, Weird Al Yankovic. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. Oh. <laughs> Good call, Just Fine. Oh, leave us alone. Nancy Marcus, call me back on the landline. No. No. We're not going to. Gonna keep we're going to look us. around until Ooh. we're good and ready to call you back. Gift shop purchases. All right on. So for all the gift shop things that we'll be getting. Ooh. See now. Oh, this. Okay, here's a fun thing for you guys to observe. How many times can you see that Warning's Waverly Academy black cat book? 
in this, this game. This might come in handy. Yay! I've seen it three or four times already. Again, we don't have any money there, do we? Oh. Four poster canopy bed. How nice. Ah! Come back. There we go. Alright, on the landline. Uh, Marcus. Click is... on Marcus. Yeah. Oh! She'll do it yourself. First. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta have one of these phones, you guys. I know, it looks beautiful. Marcus here. Hi, it's Nancy. So, what's everything look like at the castle? Have you got everything under control? So far. Great. I'm on the way down. I'm about four hours away, but I'll try to be here if you need me. Thanks again for helping me out. It'd be great to have the whole thing tied up by the time I get in. I'll do my best. That's what I'm expecting. I'm bringing some foreign investors to the castle tomorrow. Oh. Big money, big time investors. I, I mean like stupid rich. Stupid rich. Like, happy birthday. I got that town in France you wanted in. <laughs> everything tied up with a neat bow. Sign, seal, delivered stamps, the whole hundred yards. You're like my personal stylist here. You gotta make me look good. Stylist? <laughs> I'm here to get rid of the monster. <laughs> right? Nancy, business is built on metaphors. Fast talking itself, <laughs> aggrandizing anecdotes. Like the time the Prime Minister told me that my yacht was fantastic. Right. <laughs> I knew you'd be a fast learner. That's my favorite type of learner. Favorite type of car, too. You prove yourself to me. In this case, I see big things in your future. Oh. Look at me. I started as small like you. Now I've got four houses. Wow. Three in Berlin and one somewhere. Told my realtor to surprise me. <laughs> really should track about someday. Also, I own a castle, but you know that. But you know that, I just own a castle. Jeez. I right. want to own a, an extra vacation right. house. All right. I, I'll take the castle, though. I was what can say, you tell me about Anya? Anya's Anya. Always has been. I was surprised to find out she was working at the castle, but that's synchronicity for you. Why were you surprised she was working here? We used to date. You and mm. Anya? Really? <laughs> that was years ago. She didn't mention that. Yeah, I'm not surprised. The breakup didn't exactly go well. Mm. Well, no, no breakup goes well, right? <laughs> That'd be weird. Yeah. Anya was pretty upset and she ended up acting a little strange. Hmm. Strange how? It's not really... It, it wouldn't be very gentlemanlike to get into what went on. Hmm. Let's just say she is the reason that I make sure my shoes are tied before I break up. Wait, um, what happened? Run? Oh, I'm just being dramatic. It was rough. We got through it. When I find out she was working at the castle, it was weird at first, but stranger things have happened. Look, Anya and I have had our problems. But in business, skill comes first. She's very good at her job, and customers love her. That's good enough for me. That would still be, I don't know. Yeah. Have you tried Carl's game? No, 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 no. I do not play games. But if I did, I would not play them with Carl. <laughs> He's okay. What do you think of Carl? Uh, he's not my ideal manager, but he does an adequate job when he's not working on that game of his, that is. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit about this monster? No, sure. other than that it was a terrible timing, which is rude, by the way. <laughs> I don't deal with these sort of things. I, I hire people to do it for me. I'm big picture, Nancy, like, like a dinosaur's yearbook. <laughs> I don't do small print. <laughs> like a dinosaur's yearbook? All right. <laughs> You're the one who broke up with Anya? Yes, I'd rather not get into the specifics, but I did end the relationship. Why do you insist that everyone dress up? The castle isn't a hotel, Nancy. I, I'm not renting out a room. I'm providing an experience. I want our guests to create memories that they'll never forget during their visit here. Like seeing a monster? Are you implying that I'm behind the monster sightings? <laughs> well, it's not out of the realm of possibility. It is so far out of the realm of possibility that it has crossed the sea of you are wrong and landed in the realm of ludicrous accusations. But I do admire your thoroughness. Good hustle. Oh, there we go. Bye. Call it and it's all finished. <laughs> oh, Marcus. I love Marcus. All right. I think we yeah. should call Ned and straighten things out. Oh. Do it. Do it. I have, I'm working on Stranger Things 2 right now, so don't spoil it for me. I'm like right in the middle. Exactly. Hello, you've called Ned's telephone. Please leave a telephone message. His telephone? Oh, maybe call Frank? Ned! Frank, tell Ned to pick up. I need to talk to him. <laughs> I need to buy Ned another souvenir. you get in touch with Ned yet? I've tried, but I can't get past his voicemail. Well, Joe's been keeping him company. Aww. That's good. Ugh, relationships. <laughs> tell me about it. It's funny that I'm more comfortable tracking down some dangerous saboteur than I am having one of those relationship talks. <laughs> Same here. 
Occupational hazard, I guess. <laughs> so, what's going on in Germany? I'm in a pretty spooky old castle, and the people here are being terrorized by a monster. What's your take on the situation? I'm not so oh, sure. Oh, I've yeah. got a really strange feeling about this place. Well, if you need anything, give me a call. Will do. <laughs> That's it. I'm done with that. <laughs> That's not. Are you okay? <laughs> Did you taste another cranberry? Oh no! <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, it's just so gross having a weird tiny lump just suddenly go down your throat. Like, I wasn't expecting. <laughs> like, I thought I got everything. Also, that was really nasty. I'm sorry. <laughs> Especially because he thought you got it all out and stuff. And Well, I got down to the very bottom of the cup. Oh. And there's a whole bunch of stuff at the bottom of the cup. <laughs> so. Note to self, I'm going to take off all the toppings on my next order that time <laughs> on the drinks. Yum, yum. I could really <laughs> use some money. Try seeing if there is anything you can do for the people around the castle. I'm drinking water. <laughs> the people here must be scared. I can't get them to answer their doors. Really? You've tried? Yeah, no one wants to talk. They must really be scared of this thing. This has not been one of my better days. What's going on? Well, Ned and I aren't getting along, and I'm in a damp castle that has monster problems, and the airline lost my luggage. Again. <laughs> oh, that's awful. That officially qualifies as a terrible day. Mm. Anything I can say to cheer you up? I don't know. Maybe. Give it a shot. I'm sure you'll solve the case? That helps, I guess. Your <laughs> luggage is probably somewhere great. <laughs> like Tahiti. Oh. Enjoying a nice tropical vacation. <laughs> With all the traveling you do, it deserves a break. <laughs> True. <laughs> Thanks for the effort. No problem. <laughs> See you later. Catch you later. All right. I like cranberries too, but I like them in scones or in a broccoli salad. Or but not I, in a drink. Not in a drink <laughs> that you're expecting lumps to come in. Sorry, guys. <laughs> that, that was just awful. I'm so sorry, but it was really entertaining. On my end. <laughs> Hello, you've called Ned's telephone. Aww. Please leave a telephone message. Do we have a task list in this game? Oh, good question. Oh, yes, we do. <gasps> Call Marcus. That's done. Haven't done that. Oh. Still have to do that. But we need to explore the courtyard. Yeah. Well, oh, that's boy. done. The Still well? have to do that. Haven't well, done that. Well, I mean, shop. no one answered back when we asked haven't who was done down that. there, so. Check. I think it's worth looking again. Still have to do that. Oh, we haven't met everyone haven't the done that. yet. <gasps> well, okay, so let's see. We need to explore the well, explore the shop, find a way to get Carl out of his office, and see if he's hiding anything. And meet everyone in the castle, explore the courtyard. See, Nancy does not need to check her luggage. She needs to pack two ba- ah. Oh. Two. Hello? Two bags in case. Ah! It's the monster! <gasps> He's struck again! Quickly! Follow me to the courtyard! Mm. I love how exasperated he always sounds. I know. What <laughs> fire <laughs> happened here? Oh no! It has gotten past the gates! Uh, this has never happened before! Nancy! This is different now. You better leave. The plant's on fire. No, I'm gonna get to the bottom. He's <laughs> like, what? No. That is not a smart move. I'm going to tell Marcus that whatever happens to you is no longer my responsibility. You just run away? I better find a way to put out <laughs> that fire and fast. Oh, well. I know. Marcus. Or not Marcus. Um. Carl. I feel like Carl. if you're right next to the well, you could just get out some water, but, you know, Carl, whatever. if there was an earthquake, you'd be running away and not helping anybody. <laughs> I know. Ah. Uh, flip around. Oh. <laughs> all right. Look, the monster broke through the glass of that door right there and scratched it all up. It smashed the um, table. The monster right did some major damage out here. Wow. There's something strange stuck in that door. What a peculiar looking burr. If I can find out where it's from, that can help <laughs> me track the monster. <laughs> yeah, which door is Magda's? Why are you bothering us? Why? Are you bothering me? I'll go away now. Go away now. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Why are you bothering me? Oh, this music is oh. epic. Oh, Zeklakenspiel. 
Nehmen Gretel. That is a letter. Name of this note. E. Very good. Beautiful. Yo, you don't get to keep. Take a picture of it. Oh, good with call. Your phone, since you can't keep it. That's a great idea. I totally forgot that you could do that. Yeah, do that. There right. we go. We don't need to see this. How fit. And take a photo. I love this music track right here. I know, it's so epic. It's like, yeah, you look at those notes, Nancy. <laughs> you memorized the glockenspiel. All right. Okay. Bye. Wait, how do I get out? Oh. Steffi go. Okay. Let's see. Can we go? Ooh. Oh, that's the well. Come back here. We can go up there. It is very good study music. I love it. Mm -hmm. It's like, it makes everything you do ten times more epic. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm writing a paper <laughs> and this is awesome. <laughs> These are pretty dull, but they might come in handy. I guess we'll have to sharpen them, huh? Yoo-hoo! Big summer blowout. <laughs> <laughs> that needs to be a meme with Carl. Yes. Someone needs to take that and make that into a meme. Please, uh, please do that. How do we do that? How do we do that? You just like take a screenshot of Carl and then just be like, yoo-hoo! Big summer blowout. Big summer blowout. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. There's got to be some coins around here. I can't remember where. I know. Oh, maybe there's by the lamp. No. Uh. <laughs> you guys, I'm so full. I know, wrong country. It's Norway. Oh, true. But he was, wasn't he wearing Lederhosen though? Lederhosen? Uh, he had some kind of special, like, like, uh, britches, like shorts or whatever, oh. but a special shirt too. But not, like, specifically. Ah. Not specifically Lederhosen. Oh, look! Can't check that off yet. Right, let's see. Did we can't check that off yet? It's a Still family. Still have to do um, that. A family ism. Can't check with, that off with yet. My family. Every time we enter each other's house, that. we we call out, "Yoo-hoo! Hi, family! <laughs> <laughs> Yoo-hoo!" <laughs> <laughs> They're just so happy to Hi. see each other. Yeah. <gasps> who is Hello. this? Hi. Oh. Hi. So, are you the one who tried to keep <laughs> me out of the castle? Probably. I've been known to do things like that. <laughs> I'm Lucas. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. Hello, Nancy Drew. Do you want to play Monster? Monster? Monster. I don't really have time for that right so now. Cool, Does no one have time for fun in this fast-paced modern world? Mm -hmm. That's from that one commercial. <laughs> that one okay. commercial. Well, if you change your mind and decide you don't want to be boring, so <laughs> let me know. Prices might be involved. Oh. oh. What do you know about the monster that's been <laughs> terrorizing the castle? I heard that it's a forest yeti. Hmm. What's that? It's the saddest and most terrible of the monsters. <laughs> it lives alone in a big cave usually, and it gets so hungry that he thinks he's going to die. But he doesn't want to eat because he has to eat people, and he doesn't like to kill people. So he tries to eat vegetables, but they make him sick. But one day, he can't wait anymore, and he runs into the town, and he grabs up a whole bunch of people and eats them all, and he goes back to his cave. And he's so sad about all of the people he's killed that you can hear him crying and howling for miles. Lucas! <laughs> Sounds kind of like that. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> uh, what can you tell me about Anya? She's the best. She's the most fun person in this castle by a mile. Why is that? She's taught me where all the fun places are in the castle. And she knows a lot of games. And she's good to talk to if you have a problem. I wish she wasn't always so busy. What's she busy doing? I don't know. Probably something with Carl. Why do you say that? They're always fighting. Hmm. What do you think of Marcus? Who? He's the man who <laughs> owns the castle. Oh, okay. I don't know him. I think I heard my dad talk about him a few times. I don't think he likes him all that much. Hmm. Do you visit Anya in the shop much? Oh, yeah. Want to hear a secret? Yes. If you give Renata food, she falls asleep in, like, a second. It's really weird. <laughs> <laughs> well, after stuffing myself with food, I want to take a nap, too. True, well. especially depending on the food. Yeah. Like, what do you think of all the tourists who come here? They're so boring. <laughs> Every group says the same thing, no matter when they come. They all make the same stupid jokes, and I always have to pretend to be amused. <laughs> amused. <laughs> Why are you always pranking Carl? I tried with everyone else, but they're not good at noticing. 
Carl is, so Because it gets to <laughs> him. He notices everything <laughs> and gets all crazy and red when you mess with him. <laughs> all of the cool stuff he has in his office, when I get to use it, I'm going to build a small version of the castle with all the secret passages. Ooh. Secret Ooh. passages? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. Where are the secret passages? Where do they go? I can't tell you. They're secrets. <laughs> Plus, there are a few places here that I'm the only one who knows where they go. Well, he's a wealth of knowledge. Have you mm -hmm. seen the monster? Excuse I don't know. <laughs> How can you not know? I saw something. I don't know what it was. Where? Down in the passageways. It was awful. <clears throat> what did you see? Probably a monster. <laughs> Have any of you guys been to Germany? Hmm. And specifically, in probably B Bavaria area? Aren't you worried about getting in trouble with Carl? Oh, Carl can't catch me. That's just how it is. Carl couldn't catch a cold that was looking for him. <laughs> he couldn't catch a ball if you glued it to his hand. <laughs> he couldn't catch an acorn if he was the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I can continue if you'd like. Go ahead. I'll oh, oh darn, I should... Yeah. It's like he's not even trying these days. Oh. <sighs> Let's see. Have you always lived here? Yep, the whole time. My dad's the head of security here, so I know pretty much everything there is to know about everyone here. Most of it boring, <laughs> but not all of it. What do you mean? I can't tell you I'd get in trouble. <laughs> but it's bad. My oh. dad says all castles have bloody histories because they're built by greedy men. He says that a lot. Oh. Andrew, uh, 71, you live there? Ooh, Are you there now? What does now? he mean when he says that? I can't tell you. Also, I don't really know. I think you're the one behind <laughs> the monster sightings. Making friends. My lawyer has advised me not to answer that question. <laughs> what? Your lawyer? <laughs> Your what? Isn't that what everyone says on all of those TV shows? <laughs> my lawyer. I need a lawyer. I ain't talking without my lawyer. <laughs> That's yeah. TV, not real life. You're not answering my question. And I ain't gonna do it, see? Not till you get me a real class A briefcase jockey. That sounded good, right? <laughs> real class A briefcase briefcase jockey. Yeah. Wow. I'd like to play a round of monster. Making some good. high demands. We'll play two rounds yes. and the win goes to the farmer with the most live cows remaining at the end. This time, I'll be the farmer and you will be the monster. As a farmer, I'll place all of my cows on the board. That is really cool, Andrew. How did you find out about Nancy Drew games? I'm curious, because not very many- Then you get to choose three cows to become secret monsters. Ah, oh, yes. When you're ready, start the round. Because not everyone in- there's aren't, There aren't very many fans in Germany who have played the games. It sounds like a dog growl. I know. Choose a cow to kill in any pasture connected to one of your monsters. Once a cow is dead, you'll need to move any scared cows or monsters in adjoining pastures to a new location. I'll tell you what, you guys, you don't have to drink every single time he says monster on this, on this game right here. It's fine. Then I'll guess which of my cows is your hidden monster. Once I'm done, it's back to you to make another kill. Be careful, because if no live cows are connected to a live monster, you'll have to skip your turn, and I'll get to guess again. That's really cool, Andrew. Am I pronouncing your name right? <laughs> Who here likes this game, Monster? Let's Kill see. the cows! <laughs> oh. When I guess correctly, one of your monsters will be killed, and I can either choose to guess again or pass. We'll continue taking turns until either all three monsters or all the cows are dead. Hmm. You know, we could make this game print out a bowl. So that you could play it in real life. I'm just trying to imagine how to... Um, so I think on one side will be... Yeah, on, like the tokens. One side will be um, monster faces, and the other side will 
Spooky cows. Now oh, we only need three monsters, so. Only three cows. Well, no, it can't be. I think they all have to be monsters on the back and then all cows on the other side. Just have extra tokens for the dead faces to go on top. Yeah, it could be done. It could be done. Oh, Sam's around is over, and we switch roles. You'll be the farmer, and I'll be the monster. The second round is over when either all three monsters or all the cows are dead, making the farmer with the most survivors the winner. Let's play! Oh, so that was a practice round. Oh, all right. I thought it was like the real round, but that's fine. <laughs> all right, we're being asked what our first Nintendo game was. What was yours? Your first answer to your game. Mine, I think, was either Stay Tuned for Danger or um, Secret of Shadow Ranch. Nice. Wasn't yours, Mrs. Message in a Haunted yes. Mansion was my first game. What was your guys' first games? Hmm. You like Scopa? Yeah, that's good. I don't like Child. Shadow Ranch is a very, very good first game. Mm -hmm. It's a very good game to introduce to you by the books. Yeah, there's only like, what, maybe five or six people on YouTube who have a very thorough collection of uh, walkthrough videos of the Nancy Drew games. Argo Pump is probably the most popular because he's been around the longest. He's been doing it the longest. Uh, your Gibbs Gaming, uh, Adventure Gaming Fan. Um, Nancy Drew walkthroughs. JB Lewis. I think I'm following all of them. I'm trying to follow everyone who streams Nancy Drew games on Twitch as well with my personal account because I like to watch Nancy Drew streams as well. I mean, I much prefer streaming Nancy Drew games like what I'm doing right now uh, with Tess here. But I do like to have other game streamers in the background while I'm working. Oh no! This is so So many cow mooings. <laughs> I know! I love my Nancy Drew 147 says, You've got this, Tess! <laughs> You've got this! Win this game! Thanks, guys. Through the power of l friendship. Teamwork. Yeah. You guys can cheer her on with a bajillion purple hearts. <laughs> it is much appreciated. Yeah. Alright. Wait, wait, wait. I don't want to do that. Haunted Carousel is a good, easy game to get started, especially if you're younger. Because Haunted Carousel is a pretty easy game. Oh, you must take care of your cat. Coco Gringo Cat. Yeah, kitty, kitty's gotta be given attention. True. I have two kitties and they demand attention. Huh. Alright. Thanks you guys for the purple hearts. Oh my gosh. Yes! Alright, let's see you try to beat me now, Lucas. Uh, yeah, um, a lot the thing about uh, Nancy Drew friends is that a lot of them were really young in the 90s and they're one of like closer to the late 20s and early 30s nowadays. If you guys wanted to share your age right now, you guys feel free to tell us what your age is in chat. Yeah, you saw my cat, Coco Cat. Yeah. They're adorable. Which makes up for... Nice game! Here you go! How annoying. Should I pick a set? <laughs> yes. Whoa! We can pick a set of cards? Yeah, get one that doesn't have duplicates. Oh, they all look kind of the same. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's okay. Let's see. You pick whatever you want. Um. Hmm. Let's see, there's this one's pretty mediocre. This one's Happy all right. birthday, Blue Blue Gamer thirty five. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Shout out to Blue Gamer. Thank you for yeah. joining. Glad you're here to. Uh, glad we could give you it's a, a birthday card stream. for that game that Carl is always playing. They're pretty cool, actually. I have a bunch. I'll give you some. If you can beat me at Monster. Okay, good to know. Thanks, see you later. See ya! Cool. We are still glad to have you, Andrew. My grandpa, who is oh. in his 70s, he plays the Nancy Drew games. Ooh, that's 
uh, what was the what was the German word for money? Das Geld. Das, das Geld. Das money. I like to say das money <laughs> is. All das money is. Well, there is one room we haven't explored yet. <gasps> oh. And do you one? know what that is? I do not know. It's that at the is. other end of this hall. Oh. Keep it going. Turn it around. So, oh. That way. <gasps> we have not gone down here. Okay. And happy ber belated birthday, script writer, as well. Last Thursday was your birthday. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, everyone. Whose birthday's coming up next? My sister's was yesterday. We're gonna be celebrating this weekend. Oh, fun! Yeah. What do you have planned? Well, I haven't decided if I'm gonna... So she's already getting dessert, but I'm kind of debating... Because I really want to make her dessert, too. But I don't know if that's too much dessert, because I really want to make a really rich chocolate cake with chocolate ganache. On top, oh, but just that's, amazing. That sounds glorious. Oh Ooh, my goodness. The tile. Oh, hey! <gasps> oh, I guess we're just gonna take that now. This window doesn't need that extra tile. It's totally fine. So just just ignore us, person over there. Wow. Well, happy belated birthday to your sister. That's awesome. Hello. No Nancy Drew, is it? I understand you and I have much in common. I'm no. not so sure. I don't believe we've met officially. Meet officially? What? With papers and a stamp? <laughs> what is this? Meet officially? <laughs> Silliness. I am Renate. Officially. And you are Nancy. Officially. Is that official enough for you? Should I invite a third party to witness the exchange, <laughs> maybe? <laughs> no, that's all right. What did you mean when you said we have a lot in common? Uh, perhaps I'm wrong about that. You are here for the monster, yes? Monster. Monster? What monster? Monster? What monster? <laughs> Good try. But I don't buy it. Let me tell you what I know. You're here for the monster. Now I tell you something you don't know. This monster? He is He's here, here for you. Oh, monster, monster, monster. What makes you so sure of that? <laughs> I'm a storyteller, Nancy. I deal in fate and tragedy. And when a young girl suddenly finds herself called to a monster's lair, it is always the first breath of a tragedy. I should know. Leave while you still can, Nancy. It's very foreboding. I'm not going to do that. I didn't think that you would. You're part of this story now. She ominously says. I know. <laughs> You're part of this story Don't. now. <laughs> I think I'm gonna say that to the next person that like talks with me when we're in line or something. Our our paths have crossed. <laughs> it must be fate. You're part of an interesting story. <laughs> I saw something that was just like you should finish your sentences with in accordance with the prophecy. <laughs> So I think, like, yes. you're part of this story now, in accordance with the prophecy. Yeah. So How well do you know Carl? Oh. This guy. Him? I know him as well as anyone can, I guess. <laughs> what do you mean? The way he locks himself up in the castle. He never leaves. He's hiding from the world. Why do you think he's doing that? I don't know. Me either. What are the chances that the reason is a happy one? Probably <gasps> not great. Excuse right. Me. Sorry, what were you going to say? Oh, start thinking about a goodbye farewell sign-off that we could be using. Yes. <laughs> Excuse me. That's okay. Do you think the stories are real? I know. I, I think some part of the story is. I do not know. But you, you need to live as if it was true. You said what? I know. What do you know? I'm an old woman who speaks many languages. When I'm tired, sometimes the words do not behave as they should. I don't I believe, don't believe you. you. You don't believe me? Then that is your own problem. Now leave me alone! No. Oh, dear. Hello, Nancy. Oh, hi. <laughs> like nothing happened. <laughs> Where are your favorite places to visit? The places with the best food. The people in the north are dull as mud through dirty spectacles, but yeah. they make a knockwurst and apple fritter that will take up residence in your soul. <laughs> oh, and in the Black Forest, they make cakes. Ooh. These chocolate cakes with cherries and cream. Oh, mm. what I would give for one right now. There is nothing like having a full belly and taking a nap near a fire. Oh. That does sound nice. Mm -hmm. It is. Sweet food is my one true weakness in this world. It isn't great for the old teeth. It makes me fall fast asleep. But those are small prices to pay. Oh, all this talk has made me hungry. 
Have you heard much about this monster? Let me tell you a story a friend told me. She stayed here with her family a long time ago when she was a young girl. Back then, the woods outside the castle walls were a very dangerous place, especially for a little girl. That's why her father told her she was never going to the woods alone. This little girl? She had a small red scarf that came all the way from India. It had a parade of gold-stitched elephants, all walking in a line. She was very proud of it, and how far it had traveled just to belong to her. Mm. One day, when she was playing in the field, a gust of wind carried the scarf deep into the woods. When the girl's older sister saw her walk into the forest, she tried to stop her, but it was too late. She couldn't catch up. Two girls went out into the woods. One came back. What happened? There were monsters in the woods that night. <laughs> what kind of monsters? Does it matter what kind? That girl never came home, never saw her family, her friends ever okay, again. Okay. Who cares what name, what kind of monster it was? That means nothing. Well, it could prevent someone else from experiencing that, you uh, know. I know. The story about the girls. Who is this friend who told it to you? You wouldn't know her. I'm just curious. Is she your age? Is she from here? Why won't it matter to you? Leave it alone. Then why bring it up? I know. <laughs> Let me tell you a story, but then I'm not going to follow up with anything about it. I just need to remain anonymous. <laughs> Why are you here? I'm a traveler, much Honest. like you. I see the world. I tell <laughs> stories. But why are you here now? I do not know yet. If our time together is a comedy, then I was brought here by coincidence. If our time is a tragedy, then it must be fate. If our time is a tragedy, then it must be fate. I want to talk like that when I get old. Yeah. I'm just going to speak super cryptically, as yeah. if I'm like some sort of ancient seer or something, and then everyone yeah. will be like, whoa, she must be so wise, and I'll be like, <laughs> I'm just making what up. <laughs> but whatever. What did you mean when you said I was part of the story now? <laughs> <laughs> you will figure it out. I think you're just trying to scare me. And if I am, is that such a bad thing? You have good reason to be afraid. That's not helpful, but... Katie Eyes 21, the cake is a lie. No, That's funny. There's cake. <laughs> Afraid of like what? <laughs> if you don't know by now, look around. Think. It is a dangerous time to not know who you are and who other people think you might be. I know exactly who I am. I'm Nancy Drew. What do you think of Anya? You ask me? She should be in charge of this castle. She's smart. She's strong. She actually understands the history of the castle. Why is that important? Don't ask that question! When I'm here, <laughs> I try not to tell the stories of what has happened at this castle. Why not? Fate has a cruel habit of digging in its claws when tempted. But I will say this. In the event of disaster, I'd rather have Anya in charge than Karl. Why don't you tell stories about the castle when you're here? This land, this castle has known more than its fair share of misery. There is a saying from where I'm from, when death goes to take a ride, he follows the road that serves him best. If that's what you believe, why are you here? <laughs> My affairs are mine alone. And anyway, a good storyteller knows to leave the big reveal for the end. Yeah. What if I don't yeah. want a story? <laughs> what if I just want to know why you're Nancy. here? <laughs> you're very persistent. I was right to like you. So, my life's work is words. I know them well. Went to speak. More importantly, went to stay silent. To stay Bye. Silent. Goodbye, Nancy. <laughs> Actually, you know what time it is? Is it time it's to... It's time to save our game in some kind of creative name. What should we save our game, you guys? Oops. Sorry. Uh, not that one. Yes, save. We what shall we call our, our game? Lucas! <laughs> <laughs> I saw <laughs> someone was saying, um, I'm shocked. Like... I'm shocked. Nancy, what are you doing? I don't know if we have enough character space for that. <laughs> Peanut butter jelly time. <laughs> That's monies. <laughs> I like it. I think I like that. Yeah. Oh, scriptwriter, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry to hear that. Oh, I'm sorry, scriptwriter. Cake. Yeah, das <laughs> monies. Cherry cake. She might be Black Takai in disguise. Cake. I don't know. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I mean, kind of. They do look similar. <laughs> they both have the bun and the yeah. big dress. They're well, the hers older, isn't a dress, but yeah. Older ladies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
They both have wise things to say and for Nancy. Cryptic things yes. to say too. <laughs> I know. Yeah, everyone's saying dust monies. Let's do dust monies. <laughs> dust oh, monies. I've got the keyboard. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I could mind control dust monies. <laughs> I love it. It's so it's so like aggravated. It'll take that. Or aggressive. Dust monies. Lucas. <laughs> Uh, that was good. What's up? What's up? Oh, you've been crooked this entire time. Oh, that's all good. <laughs> oh, wrong way. There we go. <laughs> He's open. He's perfect. He's open. I was thinking of saying goodbye with this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you guys, we are going to be continuing this stream tomorrow at the same time, and then also next week, Thursday, Friday, as well. Mm -hmm. This is a four-day stream, so we're going to be spreading it out. We have a long ways to go and a few Easter eggs to catch as well. Mm -hmm. So come back and uh, make sure that you are following us um, on Twitch so that you get the alerts when we go live, and mark your calendar so you can join the stream. And anything else? Oh, if you are someone who really likes to watch Nancy Drew games streamed on Twitch, uh, besides us, I mean, who else is there besides us? Well, there's <laughs> other people who stream Nancy Drew games. <laughs> or if you are, um, if you are a streamer of Nancy Drew games on Twitch, uh, be sure to include the Nancy Drew Mystery Games community. Um, if you go, yes. if you type in on Twitch Nancy Drew games, Nancy Drew Mystery Games. Um, and look under the tab for the communities. There are two Nancy Drew communities that exist, but the one we created is Nancy Drew Mystery Games. So click on that, follow that, so you'll get the alerts every time someone in that community is streaming a Nancy Drew game. Mm -hmm. And if you're streaming, be sure to include that in your stream so that uh, it'll give everyone the alert that you're doing it. Yeah, so they can watch. <laughs> uh, Coco Kringle Cat, you can make Cap work on Windows 10. There are a few workarounds. Please check out our FAQs on our website for the um, the tips on how to do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. You're excused. Excuse me. <laughs> um, Britt B, I haven't really looked at um, our messages just yet, so um, yeah. I'll get back to you here shortly after we end the stream. Yeah. Oh, and this is also, we're going to be putting this on YouTube fairly shortly yes. so if you if you missed part of it then that's okay because it'll be up and you can see the rest of it then so yes oh they're not annoying questions Coco okay. bring I love the questions yeah and it's great that you guys can help each other out in the uh, chat feed too mm-hmm well, we need to pose real quick for the oh yeah for the three two one I'm just gonna do like yeah yeah <laughs> yes. cool. <laughs> uh, wait what what Hold down your left earlobe and get drink water. I've heard all kinds of things getting <laughs> ready hiccups. I think the problem is, is I just keep gulping too much drinks, too many of the drinks. When because uh. it's nice, it's satisfying to just get like a whole bunch when you see that. But <gasps> that's weird. Wait, what? Ad, Ad can you made the Carl meme? You made meme? the Carl meme? Yes. Can you post that to our <laughs> Facebook page or our Twitter account <laughs> or wherever it is that you have a social? Oh wait, action! You do have a Twitter account, I think. I've seen you. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, good night, you guys. Yes, we will night. be back tomorrow, and we're going to... Do we have three, anything else? 3 p.m. What? Is there anything else that we're forgetting? Uh, not that I know of. If you participated in the Nancy Drew costume contest, be sure to check your messages on the place where you posted them so they can get back to us. Yes. If we haven't reached out to you... Please reach out to us. Please reach out to us. And then we will. And we will. Because we'll see your message. Thank you, Action. I'm going to grab that, and I'm going to put it on a blog later. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Can bring a friend. It's the rocks. Yeah. Yes, we're gonna we're gonna do it. The sign off is the very last thing we do. Mm-hmm. It has to be. Otherwise, it's anticlimactic. All right, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. You yes. Good, good job. job. Gotta go. go. <laughs> Lucas, <Did> that, like <laughs> Lucas. <laughs> uh, no, we gotta, we gotta scream that when we're gone here. <laughs> Lucas. <laughs>